This is USA MVP. I'm here to talk about the Bernard Hopkins versus Chad Dawson fight, which takes place October 15th. Uh, let's talk about Bernard Hopkins. He's a legend. He's the man. He's the myth. You know, he's what other fighters dream of accomplishing. Uh, Bernard Hopkins, to me as a fighter, he always has a game plan uh, for every fighter that he chooses to fight. Now, he's fighting Chad Dawson now. Chad Dawson's been calling him out when Chad Dawson had a belt. Um, it wasn't until Chad Dawson became his mandatory that he chose to fight Chad Dawson. So, he fought John Pascal, who beat Chad Dawson. Now, Styles makes fights. I think that... Uh, John Pascal's style was tailor-made for Bernard Hopkins. He gasses out after a while, but John Pascal's style uh, does well against a fighter like Chad Dawson. Uh, John Pascal is an ambush fighter, and sometimes boxers have trouble with him. And with a counterpuncher like Bernard Hopkins, who's very clever at what he does... Uh, it was it was a perfect fight for him to take. So he as soon as he beat uh, John Pascal beat Chad Dawson, uh, Bernard Hopkins was ready up and ready to fight because he knew that he could beat John Pascal. Now why didn't Bernard Hopkins fight Chad Dawson when Chad Dawson had the belt? It's because Chad Dawson is a very solid fighter. Uh, he's a good boxer. Uh, as far as his pace in the fight, uh, it's very it's, it's very the same all across the board through 12 rounds. He, he fades out little, but he keeps his same pace mostly through the fight, which is not a high, high volume and which is not a low volume. And with that being said, I think that uh, Chad Dawson would give Bernard Hopkins problems at his age. Maybe a younger Bernard Hopkins would have took him to school a lot easier, but... Uh, at this point in time, I think age is going to play a factor. Uh, it's only so long that Bernard Hopkins could uh, fight at this level at his age. And I don't care how good of a shape he is in, it's, it's going to give him problems. Uh, Chad Dawson has Emmanuel Stewart as a trainer. Uh, and Emmanuel Stewart does good for, you know, boxers that like to jab. And if he could keep Hopkins off with the jab... He's going to give Hopkins a lot of trouble, and I can see that going consistently through the fight. And I don't, I don't think his counter punching is going to do enough to win on the scorecards. It's going, to, there's not going to be no knockouts, and there might be a knockdown. Maybe Hopkins might get knocked down because I seen him get knocked down by John Pascal, but John Pascal, uh, he has more power I think than Chad Dawson, so I highly doubt it. Um, and when you look at Bernard Hopkins when he fought Jermaine Taylor, Jermaine Taylor is a boxer with a decent jab. He might not be the best boxer, but he outworked Hopkins and Hopkins had a game plan. And one thing about Hopkins is I think when he has his game plan, he's set on his game plan for that fighter. He does not really adjust through the fight. Uh, he keeps that same game plan, and it caused Jermaine Taylor to outwork him. Even though it was very close, Jermaine Taylor won the fight. And the same goes with Joe Kalzaki. Joe Kalzaki, the formula to beat uh, Bernard Hopkins is to uh, outwork him. And that's, that's what I think happened. And if it's a fighter that can outwork him uh, and knows how to cut off the ring on Bernard Hopkins so he doesn't prance around and do the little counter punches that he do and they come from nowhere, uh, it's just simply outwork him. So I got uh, Chad Dawson to win by decision. It may be a closer fight, but I still think Chad Dawson going to win clearly. And that's my opinion. Tell me what you think.